Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Future on Cloud. In today's video, I'm going to upgrade the firmware of HP Flex 10G 2 port adapter and the smart array. I have already uploaded my media, media files or RPM files on SCP server. So I'm going to copy it to the destination server where I wanted to upgrade the firmware. So it is asking for the credential to copy the files. As you can see, the file has been copied. So let's jump to the server now. So let's go to the directory where we have copied that file. HP Flex Fabric and G2. Two ports. Model is 536FLB. Let's check the directory. So this is the file which we wanted to install now. So this is the syntax to extract it. By default, it will extract to slash USR slash LIB slash it is it something. The extraction has been completed. Let's go to USR slash LIB slash x86. So the firmware file is firmware dash NIC logic. Yes. And now we will execute setup file. default option is yes if we simply press enter as you can type y and hit enter it will take a couple of minutes this is the current version of this adapter and it will upgrade to 787 By the way, this is the shortest way to upgrade the firmware. Otherwise, if you go with SPV media, it will take a couple of hours to upgrade it. But the advantage is, if you wanted to upgrade your complete server, then that is the best option. So, so this one is upgraded now. So let's move forward to upgrade our smart array as well. So let's copy that smart array from SCP to the server. the destination server path the credential to copy the file so as you can see the file has been copied now let's jump into the server and extract it oh my bad let me type it again okay so let's go to the destination folder. This is the, the latest one which we wanted to upgrade now. This is the syntax which we have to follow. So we'll extract the file. Now go to directory. 
USR LIB X86 from there dash moderate execute the setup file now let one so it is going to upgrade from 3.0 to 3.53 Again, it will take a couple of minutes. So this is the current version 3.0 or HP Smart Ray P204i. So once it is completed, we need to reboot our system in order to take effect. So as you can see, the installation is completed now. So we just need to reboot our system. So this is the one which we have already upgraded. This I upgraded earlier. So once the system is rebooted, we will be able to see the newer version. The system is rebooting now. So after a couple of minutes, it will show the latest version here. So this is the shortest way to upgrade the firmware of your particular components. So let's see if system is rebooted. Yeah, it is rebooted now. So let's refresh the page or click back and forth. It will refresh it. Yes, as you can see. 3.53 it is upgraded now this is it for now thanks for watching